Today we're going to cover gladiators. When you talk about ancient Rome, one of the number one things that people relate Rome with is gladiators. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about who the gladiators were, and we're going to also talk about the role that animals had in gladiator fights, and we're going to wrap up today with the Colosseum. So, let's start today with who were the gladiators. They were professional and amateur fighters in Rome. They fought for the entertainment for the common people of Rome. It was almost like entertainment, a way of doing things like people would go to a sporting event or a concert in today's time at Walnut Creek. It would be the same aspect as that. People, instead of going to a concert or a sporting event, would go to the Coliseum to watch the gladiators fight. It was oftentimes man versus man, man versus animal, and sometimes even animal versus animal. There were three main types of amateurs. They were condemned criminals, POWs, which are prisoners of war, and slaves. Oftentimes, these three groups came in weaponless, without weapons. The pros, the professionals, were oftentimes freemen, and the crowds typically wanted to see freemen more than they wanted to see the other three groups, the condemned criminals, the prisoners of war, and the slaves. They wanted to see the professionals, the free men, um, more than they did the amateurs. Let's move on to animals. Oftentimes, animals were in some way involved in gladiator fights. Whether they were to trap doors pop out and the animals get the gladiators, or it would be one on one gladiator animal, or it could have been animal versus an animal. There were, there were a few main animals that were involved bears. Bulls, ostriches, lions, and even tigers were involved. Oftentimes, the handlers of these animals would starve them to make the animals hungry as possible. They also captured the animal from the exotic locations they could find them at. As a result of starving the animals, it would make them so hungry that when they went into the gladiator arena, the animals would go right after the human, or right after another animal, and it would become um, worthwhile for entertainment purposes. Oftentimes, the gladiator fights would be for two reasons. Pride, uh, it's always about pride in ancient times. Pride in your homeland, and death. If you lose, you're most likely going to have died. If you win, it's all about pride, okay? Um, and the animals, animals had had died or did die as well. Coliseum, Coliseum was the arena that the gladiators fought in in Rome. It sat fifty thousand people. Now during the times of ancient Rome, fifty thousand was an astronomical number. Fifty thousand wasn't ever thought of as far as an arena. The Coliseum was really the first of its kind. During hot weather. Large awnings, which are these large drapes, almost like large, um, like large fans, except for the wind as it blow, were stretched over to provide shade for the people. They were almost like a covering, almost like uh, a dome would be today. The Colosseum is still in Rome today. If you ever get the opportunity to go to Rome, you can still see the Colosseum today. So it is still there. So let's discuss what we have covered today. We have discussed who the gladiators were. There were two types, professional and amateur. Man versus man, man versus animal, animal versus animal. Fought for the entertainment for the common people. Oftentimes it was condemned criminals, prisoners of war, and slaves. Those people came in weaponless. The pros were free men. Animals were oftentimes involved. Bears, bulls, ostriches, lions, and tigers. They starved the animals, they captured the animals, they, people fought to the death or for pride. The Coliseum sat 50,000, hot weather, large awnings were stretched, almost like domes today, to protect, to provide shade. It is, Coliseum is still in Rome today as well. This ends the Gladiator Coliseum lesson for today.